Hi, my name's Michelle and welcome to Air Hill Equestrian Centre. And today we're going to take you on a little bit of a tour. So that if you're looking to hire our venue, then you have a bit of a feel for what you get for your money. So uh, come with us. So just here, as you come into the venue, um, over here we have 12 acres of our polo field, which has been laser graded. And out here we hold lots of different types of competitions. We do everything from mounted games, We've had showing, dressage, inter-school competitions, dress, uh, western dressage, polo, polo cross, pretty much every discipline. Probably the only discipline we've never had here is cross country, only because we don't have a cross country course. But everything else you can pretty much hire and uh, hold your event here. I'll show you some parking a little bit later on, but when there's uh, more than about 80 competitors, this uh, area also um, works well as a overflow car park. Over here, um, as you come on through, uh, we have our administration centre. Toilets, um, all set up for disabled and also showers uh, for people who like to overnight stay. This is our trot-in cafe. We have this open when there's um, when your event exceeds 80 people or more. So we actually open this up for you to um, have takeaway food. Um, our cafe also does uh, catering for, um, for your officials and, and all your volunteers and staff that you have on the day. This here is your command central. Would actually, um, could utilize this area for housing your volunteers, your officials, uh, set up your scoring, your welcome, your check-in for your competitors, whatever you're doing in here. So it's got a full kitchen, um, and as I said, it's a, just a nice space for, uh, for you to be able to look after your volunteers and, and, and support staff on the day. There's even a nice little check-in area here that you can use, which we've used uh, quite often for people to um, use as the uh, check-in for your event area, quite separate to everything else. There's also another room next door, which sometimes if you've got external scorers helping with your event, uh, sometimes they'd like to be a little bit separate to, the, to where all the, the action is. So that's another area that you can utilise as well. Now here, we have our wonderful undercover arena. This uh, houses a full-size dressage arena. It's actually 70 by 30, um, and uh, is where normally the higher level dressage riders or show jumpers would ride. And here, um, attached to our uh, indoor arena is a um, warm-up arena which also is uh, sand and, and, and a nice safe area for people to be able to, to warm up before going into the arena. And also all of our um, sand arenas come with judges boxes already um, set up for your use. Out here we have parking. We have two fully enclosed areas where just for safety, of all of, our, uh, all of our people coming on site um, with day yards and also two um, outdoor wash bay areas. There's parking um, and day yards for about uh, 50 to 60 horses in secure day yards. Um, as I said, there's two areas that we have for this and we can fit probably comfortably 80 to 100 cars in these areas. If you have any more than that, then as I said earlier, the polo field um, becomes an overflow area for parking. Just going to walk you out to our back arenas. We do have a stable block as well, which is available on application. Just depends what's happening as we are a working school. Um, at times we have horses in the stable, so therefore, um, yeah, it may not be available, but um, on application, if you've got people wanting to camp overnight, um, they can certainly do that and utilise the sta undercover stable area. We're also home to a couple of uh, local riding clubs who regularly use our venue each month um, to hold their clinics and rallies. Out here we have another warm-up area. It can be used as another dressage arena but most um, people who hire the venue use it as a warm-up arena for 
the other arena out the back here. So out the back here, this generally has been used as a show jumping arena. We've actually got it set up at the moment um, where it will house two full-size dressage arenas. We've already got one arena set up from a previous competition we held earlier. And as I said, Dodger's boxes are already positioned, ready for those arenas to be set up. As you can see, the venue is quite um, compact in, in its design and everything is in close proximity to one other thing. So it just means that you're not having to run your legs off when you're, um, when you're running a competition. Hi, I'm Melanie. I'll be looking after all your venue hiring. I hope you enjoyed our tour and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.